I am so late doing this. Late indeed. Good afternoon, or just good evening, everyone. It's Tara Quator. Welcome. It's, uh, well, I'm just going to say it's Thursday. It's Thursday, October 17th, 2024. It's day 291. So, nine days to go for one of the um, milestone events. I am extremely late doing this, so I have zero plans of keeping this long. And again, entirely my fault. I um, I was late getting the chart, all the trackers charged. I was given a reminder that I said I needed to do that. Well, I started it at about, I want to say about two o'clock today. I figured it would go nice and quick. Well, it took until almost seven o'clock for it to be done. So at the time of recording, it's seven sixteen p.m. It's they're finally done. But unfortunately, it is extremely late, which means I need to hurry up with this and go out and make dinner for tonight so the kids aren't, you know, blazingly hungry. You know how it goes. Well, perhaps you know how it goes. But that's, that's entirely my fault for being as late as I am. It's, it's my fault. I should have anticipated that the, the trackers would take longer to charge. I mean, they're not getting any younger, so we know how batteries get the older they get, so. I'm not going to exactly be able to get new ones, so I'll just deal with it. I just need to anticipate a little better and charge them at pr at better times. But, but hey, at least they're charged this time, so I'm not constantly worrying about it. I was a little distracted with a few other things, but the charging itself, it just took a while. I, I possibly could have done something else, but I said... Or, you know, we had said that we were just going to do this today and make sure everything was charged up, so here we are. But there isn't really anything going on. Best I can say is the nice weather from yesterday is already gone. It is already climbing back into the mid-90s Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit. So, go figure. The weather, it wants to be extremely stubborn. I'll take a look and see when we get weather again in the 70s, because my goodness, yesterday felt so nice. And I completely neglected enjoying myself yesterday. My fault. My fault. But, yeah, I most, most of my head is on, you know, next Saturday. I've already calculated, I well... I, I looked at the calendar for when day 300 would be, and it's going to be next Saturday, so it is going to be my day it happens. Not this coming Saturday, next Saturday. It's my day, which means I'll have to come up with something a little extra to make it... Maybe I don't need to. I mean, if it's technically my day, I could just do it, right? But i got to figure out how to make... Uh, maybe just how to drag things out and have them be less boring would be a good way of putting it. But I'll, I'll get it figured out. Really, I don't really have a whole lot on my mind. We've all just been relaxing today. I really want to get my sleep schedule back into better working order. I don't like being up late and I don't like sleeping in. It's it's boring I'm with that. It's extremely boring, so I'd rather just be up doing things. But what? Well, I'd like to do some yard work if that idiot didn't steal my weed whacker. Now I'm, I'm it's it's getting bad. I'm I'm just gonna have to go out there with some hand shears. They better not steal those too. <sighs> but yeah, you can tell I'm a little frustrated with the whole situation. But you know. What else am I going to do than be frustrated over a situation I have little control over? I mean, I can't even really put a new lock on the shed because the shed door itself is broken and the back side of the shed has always been exposed. So there's very little I can do with that situation. <sighs> but luckily it was only one minor thing. If they're not going after the other stuff, I can just keep them in the laundry room, I suppose. And still, it's going to have to get done somewhere along the line. 
And uh, right now I'm just waiting on when I can get some um, some wall some uh, wall anchors for Buttercup's curtains that she wants to have finished being put up, so then I'll you know come out of the wall, get that finished up, and then it should be easy enough. <sighs> Just the challenge of finding a place nearby that has the anchors, I guess. I mean, I could I could try looking and see if I have any anchors hiding somewhere. I don't really think I do though. That's that's the thing. I I need at least well, really I need eight, but I could possibly get away with four and put them on the top screws. But I'd like to have eight of them. That would really help my situation. Well, actually, I'll. Really thinking on it would probably be a better idea to have ten of them. Because um, our windows are... Our window frames are pretty wide. They're about... About 80 inches, almost. Or No, 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 not 80 inches. That's even bigger. I'd say they're... Probably say about... Uh, 65, 69 inches. Ha! <laughs> nice. Somewhere, somewhere in that ballpark. So, get that taken care of. But as for dinner tonight, I know I'm kind of just thinking of things at the moment, but I haven't really been talking to anyone, so what's there to really talk about? Uh, in terms of dinner, I'm probably just going to do grilled cheese and ham. Unless the kids want to have macaroni and cheese, they can do that, and I can have something with ham in it. So I'll ask the kids on that one, see if they want to have macaroni or if they want to have grilled cheese and ham. Pretty sure Lilia would like to have grilled cheese and ham, but... If they want to have that, then maybe I'll do something with, like, do I have, I think I do, I do still have some lentils, so I could do a lentils and ham. I do like those. They take a while, though, but that'll be fine. Anyway, I'm going to have to think of something interesting here coming up. Maybe if things go well tonight, I can try to drag Lilia into a VR chat world, if at all possible. I can't give any guarantees on it, but it, it, it certainly would be nice if we could get Lily in here just to enjoy ourselves even for a few minutes. But that does mean Sweet Pea needs to stop sleeping in our room. Hmm, the possibilities, the possibilities. I think I'm going to try. I think. And I'll, it all depends on if Lily wants to do that or, you know, play Animal Crossing. And lately, she's she's definitely been on her Animal cro Animal Crossing kick, so... I mean, that's that's fine. I mean, that's, that's always been our thing. But I know it's been... <sighs> Let's see. We did the... I'm trying to remember when we did that chicken world that was that was over a hundred days ago and that was the last time she was in vr chat or in vr in general really and that was well over i i'm gonna say that was over a hundred days ago my goodness i need to do something about that and anyway i can't i i really can't keep this any longer so i apologize for that it, it's again i need to start charging these things in the morning i know i know but hey, if I if I get it done, I can, if I if I keep myself a little more focused because my brain's been everywhere, you know what I mean. So if we can get that, then we'll be good. Uh, I I know th this. I can't really say it's exactly a motivational issue. I mean, I am distracted with a whole heap of. Well, not a whole heap, but I am distracted with other things. Don't need to go in on it because it's utter nonsense for what I'm distracted with. There's, I, I can't say it's a degree of motivation. Maybe, maybe, maybe a tiny, 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 tiny amount, but really more distracted than anything. Because my motivation is, look, I've made heaps of progress, you know, staying sober. doing. I've, I feel like I'm doing great with it. My sleep schedule, or our sleep schedule in general, is utter garbage, and that's definitely not helping the situation. If I don't get it turned around, I, I'm concerned I'm going to end up missing a day, and someone's going to say, hey, Tara missed a day, he must be drinking. Which wouldn't be the case, it's just my schedule's utter garbage. But, <sighs> I will get it fixed. I'll get this turned around, mark my words. If I, if I can go 
291 days without having a single drop of alcohol, I can turn my sleep schedule around. You'd think it wouldn't be hard, but, well, I will say quitting drinking has was eons harder than quitting vaping and nicotine. It, for me, that was harder. So the hardest, uh, why is changing the sleep schedule so much harder? Probably because my brain likes to screw off in the middle of the night. Makes it very hard to sleep. But that that's that's a whole, whole different problem, you know. I have nothing else to talk about. I have a toddler trying to get in this bedroom, so if she finds a key, she's getting in. Anyway, I hope everyone else has enjoyed their Thursday. Mine could have been better. Really, I was just watching this a weird show while I was waiting on these things to charge up. So as soon as they were charged, I finished the episode up and started getting ready. It just took a little bit longer because there are a couple other things I had to do. But here I am, so... I know the video is late. I apologize for that one, but I'm here, still sober. I have my. Wa I could really go for. You know what? I think I'm gonna. As soon as I'm done here, I'm gonna go start the kettle up. I'm going to have a nice cup of oolong tea. It has been. The last time I had oolong tea was. It was in February or March, so it's been a while. It has been a while since I've had it. it I'd say it's been anywhere between eight and nine months since I've had some oolong tea. That was back when my videos were just the webcam and me just having tea and trying to clean myself out. My brain, at least, you know. That's how long it's been since I've had oolong. And oolong is one of my favorite teas. But after, by, by the time my head was getting cleared up, it started getting just too hot to have hot tea. We were just having nothing but iced tea. And believe me... Carbonated tea would be fantastic right now. I'm out of carbon. I'm I'm out of CO2, so I can't exactly have. I, I can't have my carbonated iced tea. So no carbonated drinks for me. And that's the thing. That's something I've been noticing. It's like I've really been noticing. I've been craving carbonation like no other. And I'm not even talking like having soda. If I have an, an option between like a bubbly or a Coca Cola. I'll, I'll take the bubbly. I, it's, it's not even the sweets. It's the carbonation I end up craving most of all. And I, I will say that part of that is probably... That's why I prefer drinking beer so much. I know a lot of people like, Ew, you'll drink beer? I'm like, yeah. I really like the taste of... I do really like the taste of beer. But I think... When I really think about it, I think it's the carbonation I like the most. But... I'm, I'm not going to sit there and turn to, like, I'm, I'm not going to do it anymore. I'm, I'm done. And right now, because I'm still trying to decide what I'll do after I make the day 366 or, you know, the, th the full leap year, after I make this full year without drinking, the, the debate was, am I going to celebrate on New Year's Eve or something like that by having drinks with everyone? Or am I just going to stay sober? Right now, I'm actually more on the side of staying sober and not doing the whole party drinking. Because my concern, of course, is if I give myself a single opportunity, then I'm probably going to start drinking again and spiral back down. Because I have plans. I want, I want to let this ride and add a few other goals for next year. Not as a New Year's resolution, because everyone knows if you make a New Year's resolution... You're setting yourself up for failure. And look at me. I didn't say it was a New Year's resolution. And here I am, still not drinking. Take that, New Year's resolution makers. If you, if, you want to, if you want to see something through when you start a new year, don't call it a resolution. Just say you made yourself a goal. Or, or you know what? Millennials, Zetas, and Alphas. What, what do we call them? Like when we do something really stupid, we call it the something something challenge. So say say it's say it's the dry challenge. No 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 no. If you do that, you're just gonna dehydrate yourself and die. Um, just call it the no alcohol challenge. It works. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, yeah. I think I'm. I think I will stay on the side of just not drinking anymore. I think I'll I'll stick with that. Believe me, because my cravings for carbonation have been so incredibly strong, I've felt a minor degree of temptation to have some beer. But I'm like, yo, dude, dude, 
you're this far into not drinking, don't screw yourself over just because you want something carbonated or trickling then down and tickling your, your throat hole. Yes, I said that. I went there. I, it, it's that I really like, I like carbonation. I, I will drink club soda. Okay. I drink, I, I'll drink club soda or I will just carbonate some water if I had some CO2. By the way, I carbonated some water the other day with what little CO2 I had left. I carbonated some water and just put mint extract in it. I had carbonated mint water and I liked it. Although if I had some cucumber extract, oh boy, oh, I would be, I would be one happy quator. I would be very happy, but I can't find any cucumber extract. I have mint, so I'll have some, I'll have some mint water. It's an interesting one, I know, but I've left it at that. I want to go start the tea kettle because I could really, I could really go for some oolong tea right now. I will not carbonate it. Remember, I'm out of carbonation. Y'all take care of yourselves. Yep. We'll just leave it at that. I'm out. See you around. We'll see you tomorrow on Friday.